Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. May God bless you all. The lawyers representing the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP Namdekano, have forted the office of the AGF and the Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, on the judgment of the Api Court that quashed the terrorism charges preferred against the separatist leader. Malami, a senior advocate of Nigeria, San, had contended that Kano was merely discharged by the appellate court and not acquitted. He said in a statement released through his special assistant on media and publicity and public relations officer, Dr. Omar Wando, that for the abundance of that and by the verdict of the court, Kano was only discharged and not acquitted. Consequently, the appropriate legal options before the authorities will be exploited and communicated accordingly to the public. The decision handed down by the Court of Appeal was on a single issue that border on rendition. Let it be made clear to the general public that other issues that predate rendition based on which Kano jumped bail remain valid, remain valid issues for judiciary determination. The federal government will consider all available options open to us on the judgment on rendition while pursuing the determination of pre-rendition issues, he added. But in a separate reaction, Scano's lawyers, Chief Mike Ozeko Mersan and Aloy Ejimako described the interpretation of the federal government on the judgment as wrong and faulty. Ozeko Mer, who spoke while featuring on Chinese TV program, said, By the judgment of the appeal courts, his clients stand discharged and acquitted, adding that the remaining counts which the federal high court Abuja retained were set aside. He said, Namdekano was set free and discharged by the Court of Appeal. The Supreme Court has said such a discharge amounts to discharge and acquittal. He urged the government to see the appellate court decision as being good for the country, adding that any move against the decision will amount to prosecution. My take on this, my take on it is that it will amount to persecution and no longer persecution, he said, adding that he was still ready for any legal confrontation from the federal government lawyers. Ozekome hinted that when he gets the certificate through copies of the judgment, he will serve it on the AGF and the Department of State Services and ask for his release by a Friday, which is today. On this part, Ijimako described the position of AGF on the judgment as faulty, wrong, and pre perverse to boot. Ijimako, in a statement made available to Sahara reporters, said, if the federal government of Nigeria refuses or stars on releasing Namdekano solely because he desires to levy further on new charges. It will amount to badge name holding charge which is impermissible in our jurisprudence. He urged that in the face of the appeal court judgment, no new charges can stick against Namdekano because in the present circumstances, the extraordinary rendition is an abiding factor that has created a permanent barrier to his persecution. He keep in mind that the extant trial of Kano could never have proceeded had, had he not been illegally renditioned. So it is not legally possible to lose jurisdiction in the extant charges and at once obtain jurisdiction in the next round of charges, he added. 
Ijima Kong maintained that the judgment of the appeal court has therefore grandfathered a continuing lack of prosecutionary jurisdiction that will, in the interim, be very hard to overcome. Thus, before the levy of any new charges can have a, a toga of legality or chances of conferring prosecutionary jurisdiction, Kano has to be released first. Anything to the contrary will be negotiated. Sahara reporters had reported that a three-man panel of the Court of Appeal in Abuja on Thursday quashed the terrorism charges the federal government brought against Kano. The court also declared its extra ordinary rendition unlawful. It held that the rendition, without hindrance of due process of the law, was a gross violation of all international conventions, protocols, and guidelines that Nigeria is a signatory to and a, a breach of Namdekano's fundamental rights. Hmm. It's a pity that those who know the law <laughs> does not even know the law. AGF Malami does not even know the extent of what they did. They shouldn't have done that. That is the big mistake they ever made. Right now, they are looking for a way here and there. Miet Hala calling Namdekanu a terrorist. Adamo Garaba calling in Namdekanu a terrorist. But they will not see those people. The Boko Haram and bandits. Nigerian government is, you know, uh, releasing without a trial. As anything, you are calling a, a freedom fighter a terrorist just because it's not from your region. But why are they looking at Namdekano as a threat to them? Well, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.